Good morning students how are you all hope you all are safe and healthy at home i anita sivaj from science department is here to interact with you on chapter 2 of 7th class before starting our session just i want to say that you can protect yourself and help prevent spreading the virus to others if you wash your hands regularly for 20 seconds with soap and water or alcohol based based hand rub cover your nose and mouth with a disposable tissue when you cough or sneeze stay home and safe isolate from others in the household if you feel unwell hope you will follow these precautions at home now coming to our session today i am here to discuss on topic buccal cavity but before that i want to ask that hope you all have completed your homework assignment number 8 neatly in your notebook so coming to our today's agenda first we will revise topic which we have done yesterday that is different ways of taking food which was given in assignment number 8 then we will derive our aim that is to know about buccal cavity which is given on page number 12 and 13 then we will do a wonderful activity that is 2.2 and that is types of teeth then we will discuss on activity 2.2 then we will do assessment and summary then at last we will uh, give homework so first of all in this topic that is buccal cavity the new terms that we will learn in this is plaque and enzyme premolar molar canines incisors and the skills which we will acquire is observation classification and the diagram skill then first of all we will do recapitulation which we have done yesterday that is in assignment number 8 we have studied about process of nutrition in animals the process of taking in food by an animal and its utilization in the body is called animal nutrition nutrition in animals takes place in five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and egestion the process of taking food into the body is called ingestion the process in which the food containing large insoluble substance is broken down into small water soluble substance is called digestion the process in which the digested food passes through the intestinal wall into blood stream is called absorption the process in which the absorbed food is taken in by body cells and used for energy growth and repair is called assimilation the process in which the undigested food is removed from the body is called egestion so this animal nutrition we have studied after that we have studied about the major parts of the digestive system which consists of the alimentary canal and its associated glands when we come to the major parts of digestive system the first one is mouth that is nothing but the buccal cavity then esophagus which is also called as food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine rectum anus so these all are the major parts of the digestive system then we have different associated glands like salivary glands which is located in the mouth then we have liver which is also a largest gland of the body and pancreas and it secrete digestive juices then we have uh, we have drawn the digestive system uh, and we labeled the parts also then now coming to our today's aim i hope you all are clear with the revision of the assignment number 8 so now we will come to our aim that today we will do that is to know about buccal cavity and the functions of different types of teeth so as we know that before we as we before eat food can be used 
by the body it must be broken down into small pieces the first part of this breakdown of food is done by the teeth we chew the food with the teeth and break it down mechanically into small pieces and here we have two different types of teeth during our lifetime that is milk teeth and permanent teeth let us have brief discussion on this topic as in human beings the teeth grow twice first time the teeth grow when one is a small baby this set of teeth is called milk teeth thus the first set of teeth which grow during infancy are called milk teeth milk teeth are a temporary set of teeth so now the second set of teeth is called permanent teeth the permanent teeth grow in place of milk teeth the permanent set of teeth remain till the old age but when old people lose their permanent teeth then new teeth do not grow in their place so are you clear with the milk teeth and permanent teeth i hope now you may be clear with the definition of milk teeth and permanent teeth now we will discuss about the four different types of the teeth that we found in our mouth that are incisors canines premolars and molars so in this session we will study about the different type of the shapes they have and what they have the functions so let us come to first that is incisor teeth incisors are the chisel shaped teeth at the front of the mouth the incisors are for biting and cutting the food and there are four incisors in the center of each jaw then we have next type of teeth that is canine teeth they are the large pointed teeth just behind the incisors the canines are for piercing or tearing the food there are two canines in each jaw next we have the premolar teeth premolars have large and flat surface the premolars are for chewing and grinding the food there are four premolars in a jaw two on each side and the last type is the molar teeth so in this the molars have a large surface area then premolars the functions of the molars is the same as that of the premolars that is molars are for chewing and grinding the food therefore uh, we can say there are six molars in each jaw three on each side now we will discuss like as we know that most of the adult man and women have total of 32 teeth of these 16 are in the upper jaw and 16 are in the lower jaw the 16 teeth of each jaw consist of four incisors two canines four premolars and six molars the teeth of upper jaw match with the teeth of the lower jaw so here we have the dental formula also that is 2 1 2 3 i think you all are clear with the dental formula okay now next we will go for an wonderful activity and you will you will be very excited for this activity also which is uh, to find out the types of teeth present in our mouth so first of all you all should be clear with the instructions that what you have to follow first instruction is that you have to wash your hands and look into the mirror and count your teeth use your index finger to feel the teeth how many kinds of teeth could you find take a piece of an apple or bread and eat it which teeth do you use for biting cutting tearing chewing and grinding so this activity we will do and we will take nearly 4 to 5 minutes to find out that uh, how many types of teeth are there our in in our mouth and what are their shape and they how they look and whether they are used for biting cutting tearing chewing or for grinding 
okay now i think that you might have completed your activity so now we have a table to fill up uh, by our observations or by our recordings that we have done till now so in this table what you have to do is first you will write down the types of the teeth that you have seen in your mouth which you have like observed in your mouth then you will write down the number of teeth in the lower jaw and then number of teeth in the upper jaw and at last we will write down how many total teeth are present in the lower jaw and the upper jaw i think as we have observed with the help of our finger that how many teeth and different type of teeth are present in our mouth i think you will be able to fill this table yes so you will be able to fill that we know that cutting and biting teeth in the lower jaw how many teeth are present four teeth are present same in the upper jaw also and tearing teeth that is nothing but the canine teeth they are two in upper jaw and the lower jaw and chewing and grinding teeth they are four and six so they are premolars and molars i hope with this activity you are clear that how many types of uh, different types of teeth we have in our mouth and we are able to differentiate that how many type of teeth are present then coming to tooth decay what do you mean by tooth decay have have you ever observed have you ever feel your teeth yes you might have feel when you brush your teeth and do different types of activities in that you might have seen a white hard hard outer covering so what do you think what we can call this hard outer covering of the teeth that is called enamel yes you are right that is enamel the part of tooth below the enamel is called dentine dentine is similar to bone inside the dentine is pulp cavity which contain nerves and blood vessels if the teeth are not cleaned regularly then tooth decay can take place and now we can define that tooth decay is a process in which the tooth becomes rotten due to formation of cavities cavities are nothing but the holes which are present in the teeth inside it leading to tooth ache or we can say tooth pain so now it is a process that how this tooth decay occurs it occurs like this if we do not clean our teeth and mouth after eating food then many harmful bacteria begin to grow and live on the teeth these bacteria act on the sugar present in the leftover food particles sticking to the teeth to form acid the acid thus formed eats up the enamel and dentine of the tooth gradually and ultimately makes a cavity in the tooth when this cavity reaches the pulp cavity of the tooth uh, which contains nerves our tooth becomes painful and we get tooth ache if the cavities caused by tooth decay are not treated in time by a dentist then it can cause a severe toothache in extreme cases tooth decay can lead to the loss of whole teeth excessive use of sugar containing foods such as sweet chocolate toffees ice creams cold drinks etc are the major cause of tooth decay so here are some preventions which we can uh, follow in our day to day life that is what we can do to prevent this tooth decay and these preventions are in our hand that we can do first of all we should rinse the mouth thoroughly with clean water after every meal we should clean our teeth with brush and toothpaste at least twice a day a dental floss should be used to take out food particles trapped between the teeth now question comes what do you mean by dental floss dental floss is a soft thread used to clean between the teeth and at last we can go for this that 
we should eat less of sugary foods such as sweets chocolates toffees and ice cream etc too many cold drinks should also be avoided i hope that you all will follow these precautions in our day to day life so that we will be free from tooth decay so so till now we have completed our agenda that we have to follow not completed uh, we are two steps three steps are left that is assessment is left then we have summary and at last we will focus on our homework so whatever we have learned till now what that is uh, my expectation is that after uh, like listening the whole complete topic you should be able to give answer to these questions which i have given on the screen that is you should be able to differentiate between the incisors and molars not only incisors and molars it should be premolars and canines also and you should be know that which type of teeth used for chewing and grinding and uh, what do you mean by tooth decay what are the precautions that you can take and at last you should know to draw a diagram of human teeth and by labeling its part parts very good so i hope that most of the student because they have learnt all the topics step wise so you will at last you will be able to give answers of these all questions i hope so now at last we will summarize the topic that we have done in the class that is like we have studied that nutrition in animals take place in five steps ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and egestion then we have studied that human digestive system consists of buccal cavity esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus we have studied about different types of teeth their shapes and their functions like uh, we have different types of teeth that is incisor canines premolars and molars we have studied about milk teeth and the permanent teeth and we have studied about tooth decay and what can be the what can precautions we can take to overcome the tooth decay i hope you all are clear by uh, by these all summary points now at last we will discuss that i am giving you homework that you will solve assignment number 9 very neatly in your notebook and tomorrow i will come again we will proceed our topic that is digestive system thank you have a good day